me again, Laura Melendez, aka Vintage Thrifted Treasures. I'm back with part two of my California Goodwill haul. So we're gonna get started right away. Uh, forgive me for the paint on my hands, I'm painting my house, so it's what I've been doing all day. Um, we, this is gonna go super fast because there's tons of items and for whatever reason, iMovie is only letting me record about 15 minutes worth of video, so I don't know why that is. I'll have to figure it out, but okay, here we go. Okay, so these things are this set of blue, I guess it's that blue bowed duck. This is some stoneware three-piece stovetop set. Comes with the salt and pepper shaker and the spoon rest. I got this not from Goodwill. It was a little thrift store in California called Cornerstone Christian Thrift Store. It's right off Whittier Boulevard in the city of Whittier, California, my birthplace. Anyways, there's that. I think somebody was cleaning out some uh, cupboards because I also found this sugar and creamer set. And not only that, but with it was this cute little recipe box. There you go. $1.99 for that. Sorry, I didn't tell you the price on these. This place actually had decent prices. I think they were a little more inexpensive than Goodwill. Uh, paid $3.99, and this was a Mervyn's piece um, for the creamer and sugar. And for the three-piece salt and pepper shaker, also $3.99. Everything's pretty brand new. I opened them up. It looks like they've never been used, so maybe someone just was a collector of it. Anyhow, all brand new. Probably going to list it as a lot um, on eBay because... Not only did it come with these things, wall hangings. Look at that little goose or duck. And his mister. Oh, look it. It's the Mr. and Mrs. Super cute. Has to be cleaned off, but they're in overall good condition. No cracks, no chips, and they've got the hanging. Sorry, they've got the hanging in the back. So you could put them on your wall. The Mrs. was $1.99. And the Mr. was the same price. So, not I also found the hanging notepad. Let's see if I could get this in the frame. You can hang your keys off of it. You can write your grocery list. And there's a little blue duck. Let's see. There we go. You can see it better sideways. I paid $2.99 for this piece. So, yep, it's probably all gonna go in a set. And I didn't get this guy. I didn't get him at the same place. I got this before I left to um, California. So I'm probably gonna throw this in with it. And he's a Japan piece. Let's see, a little blue bow, put your planter or a plant in there maybe or keep your dish sponge whatever you like super cute okay cute little children's cereal bowl and this is royal dalton tableware 1936 it is a sailboat scene and then with it these don't sell for much guys these bowl probably would go for like i don't know maybe five bucks on ebay but i thought it would be cute for easter so I don't know if I'm going to hang on to it or put it up on uh, eBay or Macari. I'll probably sell it. I don't know. Here's the matching little, I don't know, sugar dish maybe? It's missing its lid. I don't know. Different scene. This one looks like they're playing a game with the little music going. Maybe Ring Around the Rosie or something. Um, also Ro Dalton. Paid $2.99 for this. I picked up this Ray Dunn piece here. Um, I don't collect redone, so I'm definitely going to sell this. It's cute for Easter. It says hip, says hop. Put your candy in it, Easter candy. I got this piece also at Goodwill Orange, and it was $4.99. What do you guys think of the prices out in California? Are they uh, pretty similar to where you guys are at? Let me know in the comments. I don't know. 
I thought Texas had uh, pretty expensive prices, and my mother-in-law raves all the time to me about how California has these great prices, but I don't know. I found them similar to here at home, so let me know where you guys live if you've got uh, lower prices. Here's this beautiful little shirker dish. Look at that. Gorgeous. This looks super old. It's mega dusty. Hey, I bought it for $3.99 and it is Kutani China made in Japan. I'm not a big collector of this look, so this is going to be up on my eBay. Probably sell it between, I don't know, I actually haven't done comps on it. Maybe $10 to $15. I don't know. I got to look it up. Anyhow, no chips or cracks. Has the lid. Ooh, I've got some restaurant wear here, and this stuff is pretty old. I think it was a sugar dish, but it's missing its spoon. And this was a great deal. Okay, I saw this, and it was that little uh, cornerstone thrift store in Whittier. Got it for 49 cents. It says it is sterling. Ugh, I cannot read that, guys. Um. Sterling something China, East Liverpool, Ohio, USA. And I got it for 49 cents. And look it, he had brothers. Hello, brother. We're triplets. I don't know, looks medical to me, that symbol. Here, probably sell them all together. I don't know. Um, anyways, I thought they were cute. Pretty heavy. So I got those for 49 cents each. And I think actually my whole order, if you spend over $25, which I think I did, it was like 10% off. So wasn't too bad of uh, pricing. Uh, that little thrift store, it's pretty small, but it had a lot of good stuff. Um, got me some trivets. These I'm probably going to keep and add to my kitchen trivet wall. This one says, bless this house, O Lord, we pray. Make it safe by night and day. Super cute. Came with a little matching guy. First, what is it? First the toast, then the roast. Happy hostess, happy host. Super cute. That could be like me and my husband because we both love serving. We both love having people over for dinner and we both love cooking for people. So, super cute. Sorry, I keep saying super cute. That's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that's gonna be like my, my thing now, I guess. My daughter over here is making fun of me. And reminding me not to say super cute so much. Um, here is a little souvenir piece from Hawaii. I thought this is pretty. The colors are so vivid on this. It is marked RB. I bought it for $2.99. It was made in Japan. It has its little wall hanging here. Original price, $4.97. Anyhow, it's in great condition. Super cute. If you guys are interested in any of the pieces I'm showing, I'm going to stick them up on my eBay and my Macari shop. I'll probably list the link uh, somewhere in the description or I don't know. Where, where do you guys list that stuff? I'm still new at this. So anyhow, now this was uh, something my daughter picked out. Um, she's starting to get a good eye for things, guys. Probably better than me. Um, it's this little dish. It I bought it for $2.99 from the Good One Orange. It only has this marking on it, S545. But look, it comes with this adorable little teacup. Look at how cute that is. It says Arizona Soguaro. I can't read that. I, I think I need glasses. Anyway, super cute. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Madison. Adorable. So tiny. Compared to my hand, look, it has a little cactus or cacti. No chips or cracks, colors are beautiful. Looks southwestern. So, I don't know, it's just cute little teacup and saucer. This is another thing my daughter um, picked up. She picked this up for me because I had a similar looking cat. It's the same, he was the same pose, but he was a like wood resin. And my other daughter accidentally broke it. So my oldest daughter saw this and was like, hey, it looks like mom's cat. 
So she picked this out for me, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. Um, has hand-painted florals on it. Really, really adorable little cat. Doesn't have a maker's mark. Has these little velvety things so it doesn't scratch. Um, I don't know how much I paid for this because the tag's gone, but I think we picked it up at a Goodwill. So there's that. This piece I am keeping because I love collecting peacocks. And this one I saw it was just super cute. I don't know what it is. Maybe you can keep your little jewelry, earrings, bracelets. Use it as a little trinket dish on a dresser. No marking other than this number 18 it looks like. My daughter said, oh, maybe you could put a bar of soap in it, but I don't think I'd want to do that. I think I'd clean it off and use it as a little trinket dish. Anyhow, got it at the Goodwill and Brea, $3.99. Not too bad. Um, picked up this Love Spice for Living. Net weight and measurable. Can never have too much love, guys. Um, there's a story behind this. Story behind love. For many years, a man watched his wife take a locked box down from the cupboard. She would unlock the box, take a pinch, sprinkle, sprinkle it over whatever she was cooking, relock the box, and return to its place. One day, while his wife was away, his curiosity got the best of him. He went to the cupboard, took the box down, and opened it. To his surprise, it was empty. He turned it over, and on the bottom was written the word love. Don't keep your love locked up in a cupboard. Keep it within easy reach and use generously. Ugh, that is so true. We need so much love nowadays. So, through not, though not in your recipe book, into everything that you cook, put a big pinch of love. So, that, that was adorable. Ingredients, faithfulness, gentleness, goodness, joy, kindness, patience, peace, perseverance, protection, trust, truthfulness, and unselfishness. And there's the year, 1982. That's a year off my birthday, guys. I'm an 83 girl. Anyhow, that's cute. Someone was selling this for two fifty dollars because I didn't buy it for that price. I think I got this at a Goodwill, and I don't know how much I paid for it. Maybe a dollar. I don't remember. Anyhow, probably sell this also. Ooh, this reminded me of Misty at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter because she likes them saucy-looking ladies. Um, guys, I don't know what this is. Ooh, sorry. I don't know what this is. This is too old for me. <laughs> I was trying to figure it out. I just bought it because of the graphic. It looks... What is this, like an A-track or something? Guys, I don't know. If you know in the comments what this is, let me know. I have no idea what it is. Do you play it? Do you... I don't know. Is it a movie? Is it music? It says accordion. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's music. French accordion. Oh, look at her outfit there. She's got them netted leggings. Anyhow, here's the back. I don't see a year. Sorry. Don't see a year, so I don't know. Don't know what it is, but I thought it was cool looking. And this I got at, a, not the Goodwill, this was at a um, little discount thrift store in Fullerton, California. It was called Save More Thrift Store, or Save More Discount, rather. So pretty cool. Uh, I think I paid like maybe a buck for it. Another little trivet. Bless this house, O oh Lord, we pray. Make it safe by night and day. This I'm going to keep. It's going to go on my wall. Paid $1.99 for it, the Goodwill Brea. Pretty nice. At the little Whittier thrift store, Cornerstone Thrift in Whittier, I found some of this. Um, buff no, Buffalo China? No, this one's not Buffalo China. This is Ultima China, World Ultima. I paid $2.99 for this platter. Oh, sorry guys. This oval platter. Pretty cute. 
It's pretty darn heavy. I'm not going to keep it for myself, even though I think I should, because, man, my kids break so many of my dishes, guys. It's not even funny. I got that one. Oh, sorry. And then I got this one. This one is made in Japan. Um, bought this one for $2.99. So, probably sell both of those. I found these guys at, I think it was a Goodwill and Brea. Let me double check. Yeah, Goodwill Brea. Yellow was half off that day. Um, I paid two bucks for these. But when I got home... I noticed here, here's his brother or sister. Hi. Didn't you notice? What? I'm broken. Yeah, look at that. And it is a bad repair job, guys. You see his beak busted off? In two places, his bottom beak and his top beak. Yeah, didn't notice that until I got home and I paid two bucks each for it. These guys had a mama that I left behind because she was busted. I should have looked a little closer and paid attention. I would have left these guys behind. So that's a loss. Probably redonate these back to Goodwill over here in Texas. So. On the bird theme, I found this little cute basket. Paid $1.99 for that. Uh, and it wasn't the Goodwill Brea. It wasn't orange. It was somewhere else. I think this is the... Now that I think about it, I think this is the Whittier tag. The Goodwill Whittier. They don't mark theirs like uh, the other two stores. But yeah, pretty sure this was Whittier. Anyhow, I'm just this darling little ducky. Um, I'm going to sell this guy. I have a matching cat. Or not, not matching, but similar looking cat that I got. Um another thrift store I know there's a lot of cat lovers out there look at this guy oh my gosh look at those eyeballs Misty you might like this guy look at those eyes look at that face anyhow he opens up I paid a dollar 99 for this guy and I think that's a Salvation Army tag here in Texas so um that's pretty cool he's gonna go up for sale too so, ducky and the little cat has some carved wood beak, carved wood ears, little snout. His with some of his whiskers are missing, but yeah, he's still cool. Anyways, these are gonna go up for sale. Tile trivet. Um, looks super seventies to me. These colors. I got this for three ninety nine. The Goodwill and Brea. No year. These are good. I guess you can use them like as hot plates. Maybe you would call them hot plates also. Anyhow. Pretty flower. Um, these things reminded me of Trusty Huckster. And I picked these guys up. Six coasters, original box. Paid $4.99 for these. Well, I paid up for these. I think this was, yeah, Cornerstone Christian Thrift. And I probably paid up from because they're Pimper now. This is Edinburgh Castle and Pipe Band. They look all to be in really good condition. So, yeah, those would be up for sale too. looking box my mother-in-law gave me this um, to sell don't know where she got it from but it's cute I don't know what phone this would fit um, whoever likes Minnie Mouse though would love this thing she's in good condition she's like a rubber like a rubber boot for your phone maybe an iPhone looks like maybe an iPhone got this uh, little planter no maker's mark. Paid four ninety nine for this guy. Got the good one, Brea. I don't know. These prices seem pretty expensive to me. Now that I think about it, 
I don't know. I may keep this. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to do a little more research on it. And if I don't find anything, then I will resell it. I picked up this tiny little 401 Pyrex dish. This was $1.99. And that was shocking to me. Because if, this, if I found this in this condition, which is not very good condition, guys. This probably would be priced more towards like the $6.99 range. Maybe even up to $8.99 at the Texas Goodwills here for this small dish. So, speckled restaurant wear mug. This is Syracuse China. And I got it for $0.99. Cents. Also a good price. It was shocking that I found it for that price. This was at Cornerstone Christian Thrift Store. There you go. Um, I'm probably going to sell this just because it's a smaller mug and I drink way more coffee than this thing can hold. So anyways, I might, I might, I might pass this along to somebody I know, another reseller who likes Syracuse China. I won't say her name, but I think you all know who I'm talking about. Up next is beautiful bowl. Bought it for $5.99 at the Whitwood, or Whittier rather, Whittier Goodwill. Kind of expensive, but I thought it would look cute for summer with some fruit or lemons or other type of fruit. I don't know. I just thought it would be pretty in the middle of my table. So this I am keeping. This was at the um, Orange County Antique Mall. So they were open for a good maybe two hours, but we had to leave early because they had no available restrooms open because of COVID. So we were searching out available restrooms and had to leave early. Um, I think I had some of my kids with me and they needed to use the bathroom. So I got this book, Story of Bo Peep in Boy Blue. But this is marked, someone's name in here is marked 1932. And I think this was actually printed even earlier than that. Let me see. Printed in the USA. Yes, see? 1929. Pretty cute. Graphics are sweet. Look at, look at his cheeks. Like old grandpa with his rifle. This is pretty. This is where I want to be at. In some field somewhere, just sleeping like that little guy over there next to a pile of hay. Simple days. Simple days. Oh, look at him. Anyhow, probably going to sell this. Um, I forget how much I paid for this book. I'll have to look at the receipt. This one I am keeping for me because um, I just thought the cover was so adorable. Look at that little girl. And I don't do scary Halloween this jack-o'-lantern, he, does, he doesn't look too evil looking. He's kind of borderline. I was fine with it. So yeah, I just thought the graphics on this was cool. This is Little Prudy series. And Captain Horace and Cousin Grace by Sophie May. And this was printed. Let's see guys, when was this print? Ooh, somebody signed it. I love seeing those personalized look at how nice their handwriting was back then guys 1892 was the copyright copyright on here no wait is that right 1892 so yeah it's pretty old doesn't have too many any pictures let me see oh maybe one anyhow just liked it for this. I think I'm going to use this in a Halloween um, decor. And at the Save More discount, I found these cool books. Like, who wants to know the difference between cruel, embroidery, cross stitch? Look at that. I'm going to know everything about it. This one's by Better Homes and Garden. Cross stitch. I found Better Homes and Gardens, crocheting, and knitting. Ooh, look at that blanket. Graphics in here were cool too. This one says 1982. I 
I wasn't even born, guys. It's not even born. Look at that. Beautiful. Afghans. Look at the decor on these pages. Man, I wish my living room looked like that. Um, these I'm probably going to keep. Ooh, look at that lace on that table. Fancy schmancy. Look at that. Look at that. Lamp. Anyhow, this I'm probably going to keep. Um, because I think the pictures in here are phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that bedroom set. Anyhow, thought that was cool. And last one was Needlepoint. How can you forget Needlepoint? I think I paid a dollar each for these books, guys. And this was like a Save More discount in Fullerton. Look at that. That's wonderful. Anyhow, I won't bore you anymore with this stuff. Um, here's a Santa. Santa Claus cookie jar. Look at what he does. He lift it. <gasps> he still works. Jingle bells. Santa Claus is coming to town and we wish you a Merry Christmas. Sorry. He still works. He's so cute. I don't use cookie jars because we don't eat cookies. So I'm going to sell this guy. But just show him here for you guys. His package of gifts. Okay, hit the road, Santa. Um, last up, I got this. Let me take you off. Okay. I got this corner shelf here for $10 at... Where did I get it at? I think it was a Goodwill, guys. I think it was either Brea or Orange. And I couldn't wait for the haul video. I had to get it up, get it up on the wall because it was just super cute. So that was the last of the California Thrift Haul. Um, I'm going to try to get a video out once a week to start off with and see how things go, see if I can manage that. Because um, I am one busy lady, guys. <laughs> So, anyhow, comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.